hi so in this video i'll be showing us how to make this top so you take the measurement here is the measurement you need you take your measurements from here all the way through your shoulder in a slant form like this and all the way to the back you take the measurements to where you want how you want the back to be open if you don't want it this opened you can take your measurements not up to that extent okay let's start our project i'll be using a five millimeter hook and I'll be mixing my colors. So as you can see, you can paint down the colors I use. If you want to use this color, you can use a single color as well. Now we will start by making this particular measurement give me a total of 33 inches long. So I'm going to be doing 120 chains. Okay. One, a total of 120 chains. Now let's get back here once we are through with that. <coughs> Okay, so this is my 120 chain. I've, I've already started the panel that's the black. Okay, so you chain one, then the second chain from your hook, you are going to make one half double crochet in each chain space all the way through the. So you make one, you always remember to use your stitch marker. Always remember to use your stitch marker. So you are going to continue making one half double crochet inside each chain space till you reach the end of the row now i'm at the end of my row one i mean the last stitch and here we go i will have last half double crochet okay and this is how long it is can you see now you chain one and turn your work Inside that same chain space, you are going to make one half double crochet. Then the next one, you make another half double crochet. Always remember to use your stitch marker so as to not miss the last stitch when doing your project. Now you continue the same process to reach the end of the row. okay so i'll be mixing my colors i'm making it of black um black sky blue and white a little touch of white so you just continue to can you see i'm true with the two panels here now it's time we just can you see i said we are going to need two panels of that and these two panels give me using a five millimeter hook give me a total of of 20 i have 23 um, 20 20 rows each 20 20 rows each so we are going to cross the two panels like this now it's remain setting it because you have to set it right you take the measurements of both parts how wide you want the down part to be as you can see you can go and check the picture later okay let's put the picture here so you know what you understand what we are doing so this down part these two sides have to be equal and the other side so you just have to lay it flat and set it take your stitch marker and pin the, the two together the two panels together at each angle you pin that side together you pin the other ends together as well the four angles you pin it together so the next thing we're going to do is now fold the back which is the shoulder part we are going to fold it fold it to hand so for this particular one this particular project i'll be folding in about eight inches because that's the excess i gave for the back i'm going to fold in it eight inches it's going to line almost with the ham hole so we fold the two sides together eight inches Then you take the measurements of this side because you are going to fill that in with another crochet. This that particular side must be equal to the other side. All the angles, all those triangles have to be equal. Are you getting it? So you just set it, clip it. So you can so the upper part this piece I'm working with is our neck. This down part is the down part. As you can see, I've adjusted it a bit. I've made the down part a bit wider. So that's what I'm talking about. You have to set it right. 
Now this side, I we have to you know, crochet a triangle to fill it up, to fill it like that. So you crochet a triangle, I'm making it of a white yarn. So you take the measurements of here, and that's the length you are going to work with. Now take your white yarn and start a chain. I'm going to chain a total of 30 using the same 5 millimeter hook. I'm going to make 30 chains here. 1, 2, 3, then up to 30 chains. Now you make your 30 chains, you are going to chain 1. Then separate space from the hook, you are going to make 1 half double crochet each all the way to the last chain. Okay, now I'm done. Can you see? I'm done with the down part. For this first cap project, you are going to be making use of decrease. Now, for my second row, you chain one, turn your work. Then the next chain space, you make one half uncompleted half double crochet. The first two stitches, you are going to make one one half double crochet tug. So, can you see? I've already reduced that side. Now you continue making one one half double crochet till you reach the last two on the row. Once you reach the last two on the row, you are going to repeat the same thing, join the, la the, the two stitches together. Now I'm at the end of the row and I'm going to join the two stitches together as well. So with this, I've reduced it by one. I've reduced this particular row by one. Okay, so and this is the second row. For the third row, you repeat the same thing, you reduce the first two stitches, chain one, then one, two, you reduce it. You repeat the same process for the third row and the same thing for the fourth row. Let's get back here once you are done with the fourth row. And this is the end of my fourth row, you chain one. For this first one, we are going to reduce by two the first four stitches. So, can you see one, then the next? two stitches as well you join them together then you continue making your half double crochet till you reach the last four before you make the last four stitches Now I'm true with that fifth row. Now you repeat the same process for the next four rows again. We have four rows, the first four rows, and the next four rows. Now that's going to make eight rows. You reduce two two for the start, then two two at the end. So to so make a total of four rows again, that is you are going to reach your eight rows. Can you see? Always make sure you are checking it so you know whether. You you have to reduce more or you have to change the way you are reducing it. Can you see? Now, we repeat this step to reach the 8th row. Then change back to reducing just one one by the side. Okay, can you see? So you chain one for this particular side. So this is my ninth row. I'm just going to reduce one one for two rows. This row and the next row at the edge, the two sides. Then the last two we're going to join this together again. It's all together. So repeat the same thing for the next row. So, can you see? Now we should have ten rows. Yeah. This particular row, you are gonna, you are not going to reduce anything. You just make it normal. One one half double crochet on the stitches. So let's check that out. So, so for this particular row. I'm just going to make one one of double crochet. Okay, 
Watching Kushu have a total of four years. Turn your turn your work. Then you reduce this one. So, so we have four stitches, so it's going to give us. We'll be left with two stitches. Yeah. Sorry about that sign. Then the last one we are going to reduce the two together, which is the last two. Okay. So we are done with this. Just secure your work. Now you repeat the same thing for the other side. Can you see that please? You repeat the same step for the other side. So I've joined the first side, one of the panels. Now let's join the second panel together. I'll be using a single crochet to join it and I'm joining it on the right side because I just like the touch and the feel, the look of it, the way it's pop up a bit. If you don't like it, you can do that to the wrong side. And you can use any way you like to join it together. Now we make a... Use your yarn using this fuchsia pink and... In the same space, you now make one one single crochet each all the way through the angle, the two sides of the angle, just like this to reach here. You make you do one one single crochet, picking the two sides together and doing one one single. Can you see? So try to clip. Remember, we put stitch marker there, so you pick the other angle point and clip clip it now um, at the angle points the, the, that side we are going to make two single crochet there so it's not going to really fold in so it's going to lay a bit flat I'm going to make two single crochet there then you continue working your way through to the down parts of the angle all the way through there now I'm through with it. That side just cut out your yarn and secure the hand. Let's see what we have. Okay, these are the two sides. Can you see it's coming out small, small a bit? We are going to weave in all those loose ends later, all those extra tools. We are going to weave in it later. Now it's time we move to our back panel. Remember, we just measure till this is going to reach just halfway through the back so now before we go to that you're going to pick one angle like this and take your yarn you are going to making use of any color of your choice start making single crochet one one single crochet all the way through all the sides like through the whole panel you are going to make single single crochet continue making one single crochet all the way down okay now when we reach this angle the down parts there can you see the angle the last angle there let's go we are going to make three single crochet at the angle so it's going to cough in a bit it's not going to kind of fold or squeeze the then you continue your work single single crochet all the way through the sides you're going to make it all the way through Now I'm through with making the single crochet. Can you see the work is secured? I've already removed most of the stitch markers. Now, well, like I said, the remaining part of the you have another panel to make, which is the remaining part of the back. So you are going to cut your crochet. That is just a normal straight panel. For this particular one, I made a total of twenty-three rows. You can do more than that if your back is not this open. You are going to need more than that. Just take your measurements and 
do what you need to do. This is it. It's just a flat part. If you don't want the back to be too open like that, those places will be the open place. You just crochet longer than this. This is just a um rectangle. Nothing much special about it. So we just crochet all the way up. Now we are going to set our back like this and use a single crochet as well to attach it. Use your six mark marker to pin it down. So Now I'm going to start from this side and use single crochet. I'm going to do this on the right side as well. So and use single crochet to join the it together all the way through. So we are going to make a single crochet on each one to reach the end of the first shoulder panel. So you reach the second, that little space, you reach the second shoulder panel. You can use counting to secure that. You count the shoulder and the remaining down part of the back. You can use counting just to get the actual points. Now you continue making single crochet, remove your stitch marker all the way through to the last end. Okay, now we are at the last end of it. I'm going to cut the tail of the round and secure your work. Now we are through with that. The next thing now is to move to joining the sides. Can you see our dry top is coming out small small? Now you do the front side and it's time to lay it flat and set it. You join the back side, sorry, you are going to join the um sides. Now you take those two angles and use your stitch marker to clip it together, the down part. Just like this. Then you take your tape measure and measure the ham hole out. I'm going to be making use of 8 inches. So you measure the ham hole from the shoulder part. Let's do that. I'm going to be leaving 8 inches for the ham hole. So you use your stitch marker to demarcate that for the two sides. Now I'm going to join the two sides from the down part all the way through here. On the right side as well, using a single crochet. I just want it to pop up it, but pop out a bit rather. Okay, now I'm done with the first side. Can you see? So we repeat the same thing for the other side. And just secure your work. Now let's see how that looks like. This is how it looks like. Can you see? Repeat the same thing for the other side. If this is the wrong side. You can decide to do it to the wrong side if you don't like the way it pops out. This is how the left side looks like. 
I'm done with joining the two sides. Okay, so if you like it like this, you can leave it like this as a jacket. It's not really a jacket, you know, it's just a bit a low sleeve cut with shoulder pattern. As we are going to be making this a long sleeve, so it's time we move to our sleeve. Start to move to making our sleeve. Now to do that, you are going to take your yarn and from the where we stop our work, we're going to start making you chain one to start with, then you make one one half double crochet all the way through that arm hole. One one half double crochet in each previous stitches. Now I'm at the end of the first row. You're going to just you're going to join to the first stitch using a slip stitch, and then chain one and start your second row. You are going to do this for a total of nine rows. Okay, make a slip stitch. chain one and continue making a single crochet for a total of nine rows so after the ninth row for the tenth row you are going to reduce your work so you are going to make two double crochet together then two times for the start the other one then you continue making one one half double crochet rather all the way to reach the that's all the way to reach it remains four to the end of your of that particular row and then you repeat the same thing reduce two two you join two half double crochet together then the next two half double crochet you join it together oh we are there already And then the next one. Okay, so once you are through with this, that is the tenth row. Now it's time we start making our mesh. So you are going to chain four one, two, three, and four. Three out of these four stands for our double crochet. We are going to be using double crochet here. And the fourth chain stands for the chain one. So then you skip one stitch, then come to the third one and make one double crochet. You chain one. You chain one, then skip one stitch. Make one double crochet. Chain one, skip one space. The next space, you make one double crochet. Continue like this to reach the end of the row. At the end of the row, and once you make your last double crochet, you're going to chain one. Then on the third chain, our first chain for the third chain, you are going to make a slip stitch there. The third chain, not the fourth one. The third chain, you are going to make a slip stitch. Then for a second row you chain four again do repeat the same step to so make a total of 14 rows a total of 14 rows so let's continue with that
now I'm through with my 14 rows so it's time to make our rib I'm going to be using a separate color for the rib so I'm going to cut off my yarn from here I'll be adding my second color now which is the blue so I'm going to use to make a slip stitch remove the black yarn because I'm done with that so just move it completely just to secure it now I'll continue by making a two chains we'll be using double crochet here as well so I'm going to make then inside that same space I'm going to make one double crochet inside that slip stitch I want that next one make another double crochet I can say I have three already now then four now we'll be reducing the five and six we'll be tugging this together so the five will complete it then the sixth one will make and that's three together now we start counting again one two three four then on the fifth one you are not going to finish it you pick the sixth one then pull through the three loops together continue this process till you reach the end of the row okay i'm at the end of the row and this is the last one now you make a slip stitch with your first double crochet can you see now to start our second row of this particular color after this one, we are going to make one one double crochet on each previous stitches one one double crochet on each previous stitches let's get to that to start with your chain two inside same chain space make one. that chain two doesn't count as a stitch so you make one double crochet the next space you make another one double crochet you continue with this process till you reach the end of the row now I'm at the end of the second row so you are going to make a slip stitch with the first double crochet just like this now to continue our work you want to start making the rib for the sleeve you are going to change your hook to about two millimeter downward and I'm, I'll be using three millimeter hook now you know, I was using five millimeter now to start with to chain two then we we'll make two front front post double crochet so this is the second one then you make two back post double crochet one okay let's do that again one and two Next one, you make another, another two front post double crochet, then two back post double crochet. This is how you are going to continue to reach the end of the row. Now to continue our work I'm at the end we meant to if I'm going to make this two front posts it's not going to really make sense so I'll make one front post and one back post double crochet you see how that looks now can you see now you have two front posts from the start so you make a slip stitch now to continue your work you chain two then you make front post double crochet in the previous front post double crochet then you make back back post double crochet in the previous back post double crochet are you getting it so you just follow the same process as our previous row till you reach you know this is my third row for the um for the sleeve rib so you continue this till you make a total of 10 rows so let's get back here once we are done with making that okay and here we have this is the last row this is the 10th row 
I'm making. Can you see how the rib comes out? It's a two by two rib. So you finish with this row, then you cut off your yarn to secure your work, and we are done with with it with this particular sleeve. Now I'm at the end of the row, you cut off the yarn and just secure your work. You weave in every tail later. Then you repeat the same step for the other sleeve. Okay? Repeat the same process. 10 rows of half double crochet, 14 rows of double crochet mesh, and then 10 rows of the rib. But on the 10th row of the half, first half double crochet, you are going to reduce here. So you just repeat the same step for the other sleeve. Okay. And let's get back here once you are done with that. So here is our finished work. I hope you really enjoy watching the video. If you would like to see more of this video, kindly click the subscription button if you haven't subscribed before. And see you in our next video. I hope you like it. If you have any comments or any question, you can drop it below. If you have subscribed to our channel, you can click the notification button so you know anytime you upload new videos. Thanks for watching and see you in our next video. Bye-bye.